What do you want for dinner tonight? <laughs> hey guys, it's Molly here again for another video in my bedroom, chilling out in my apartment in sunshiny Los Angeles. And you guys know I'm all about self-care. I think self-care is so important, especially during times of stress. And you know, like most of the world, I've been a little bit stressed lately. I'm going a little cooped up crazy in my apartment with all the time that I've been spending here. So I thought today we could play with some weird, unique, interesting self-care items, both lifestyle products and skincare products and hair care products. That was three things, which both means two. Whatever. <laughs> So, all of the products that I got for today's video were sent to me from Aerie. You guys know that I am an Aerie Real Role Model and I'm so happy to have them sponsoring today's video. I'm so happy to work with them all the time. They're just such an amazing brand and I think a lot of people think of Aerie as clothing, swimsuits, bras, that kind of thing, you know like this cute little cropped bralette and pink legging situation that I have going on right now from Aerie. But they also have a lot of really fun self-care items because as a brand, as a whole, they're really into like self-love, empowerment, body positivity, and self-care. And so they sell a lot of really interesting and unique products that I haven't really seen in other places. It's great for care packages for people. I know it's one thing I've been loving doing at this time is making care packages for people in my life that I love who are maybe stressed out or dealing with some extra challenges at this time. Also, like, I know Christmas is really far out, but, like, awesome stocking stuffer ideas and things like that. So I'm going to link below to their kind of lifestyle products on their website because it should not be overlooked. They also often have some interesting books and things like that. So thank you, Ari, for sending me these products and sponsoring me. I went on their website and they were basically like, pick whatever you want. And I was like, can I have it all? So some products that I thought were really cool that I just want to show you. I'm not, like, testing out in this video. But this is one thing that I've been really loving during this time when I'm stressed out and I just need something to fidget with. It's this pinch me dough. It's really cute. When you first get it, you open it, it says pinch me. Mine no longer does because I've been using it a ton. It has this really interesting like fruity, almost citrusy flavor, flavor, fragrance. And it's just really like soft. Oh God love this stuff and apparently it was like scientifically created to have the right color and fragrance to like release stress so been loving this and they also have some other fun stuff like this roller that i got for my mom you can put it in the fridge and this gets cold it's like an ice roller they're fantastic so and good. I use them every, every day now. I use them. Yeah, so I have one in my bedside table that I use every day. So I got this one for a mama bee. You can use it on your face, of course, but you can also, you on know, your body. just use it anywhere on your body that's sore. My mom's been having neck and back pains, so she's been like rolling it. And then another thing I love is these simple pimple patches. I'm actually going to put one on right now because I have a zit on my chest. I don't break out that much anymore. You know, I'm 26. I pretty much only at this point in my life get hormonal breakouts, thankfully, but I love having these on hand because you know I do a lot of photo shoots and video work and when I do get a pesky pimple and I'm like about to have an important photo shoot or something it's nice to have a good solution to that so I'm actually gonna put one on right now if nothing else they're probably very soothing but I'm sure they no they do really work they really work they really work you tried one the other night and it, it, it felt really good no they they like doesn't feel good it like takes your zit away that's amazing yeah I wish they had those when I was young boom She's on there and honestly you can wear them during the day But if you feel self-conscious like maybe somebody will see it or whatever Just put it on at night go to sleep wake up peel it off before school or work Honestly so much better the redness is gone It's especially good for whiteheads like whiteheads is what it's really good at getting rid of It's not quite as good with cystic acne or blackheads But if you get a lot of whiteheads girl these simple pimple patches are your friend I'm telling you okay So the first thing I tried in this video isn't like crazy, but I just thought it was interesting I've only ever used like the very traditional mouthwashes that I just pick up at the drugstore But those often have a lot of alcohol and honestly they like really burn my mouth So I decided to try this hello one that I got off airy hello also sells Toothpaste which I didn't pick up and floss which I did but there was no point in flossing for this video But the mouthwash I was interested in trying because it has no alcohol no artificial sweeteners and no artificial dyes And a lot of the stuff is sourced here in the USA, which I really liked so I gave it a try just woke up Got my uh, Aquarius PJs on from Airy, obviously. Let's give this a go. Will I be able to open it? That's the real question. Me and mouthwash, I struggle to open. Yeah, so do I. Right? I mean, <laughs> the hardest thing in the world. It's so hard to open. 
You could do a Molly, you're strong. Stronger than me. Mind you, we haven't been working out. This is much. embarrassing. Okay. So yeah, I really liked it. It did not burn my mouth nearly as much as usual mouthwashes do. I felt fresh, but not like chemically. It was really great. I feel like I've been using it every day since and I really like it. Thumbs up. Thanks, hello. The next thing I decided to try out was a wet hairbrush infused with watermelon seed oil, which I thought was very interesting. Wet brushes is what I use on a daily basis. I love the company wet brush, but I have the typical wet brush that you use on wet hair. This one, despite being called wet brush, is intended to be used on dry hair. It has cruelty-free boar bristles to help disperse the watermelon seed oil through your hair. And the watermelon seed oil is supposed to be good for shine. And then they have one with tea tree oil for scalp problems, one with coconut oil for I don't know what, one with CBD oil to relax you. It's very interesting, so I just thought why not give a watermelon seed infused hairbrush a try. And guess what, it is eco-friendly and biodegradable. Interesting, who knew? Okay you guys, now I'm gonna use this wet brush, which I use my wet brush every day, like this is my go-to brush, but I've never tried this watermelon infused shine brush. So, mm, that's delightful. But it's a it's an eco friendly watermelon infused shine brush. So, I'd brush. imagine if you've got would it be good for dry hair? Do they? I honestly have no idea. Oh, but look, oh, it's, it's like so a leaf. Pretty, yes, like a pink leaf. Yeah, it's interesting because it has these little hairs in between. Oh yes, uh, multiple hairs. Yeah, yeah, like soft hairs in between the main bristles. Okay, and I usually just use scrunchies or regular hair ties. I actually really like this brush. Wow. Does it's it weird. Feel it feels like... different than the regular one. Fascinating. It's probably the small hairs in between. That's nice. Some of you might laugh at the next thing I decided to try, but it was a shower cap, okay? Like a luxury shower cap. I've never tried a shower cap before, and the only ones I've really seen are those plastic ones you'll see at like hotel rooms. So I decided to give it a try. Here it is. Shower cap time. I have to wash off my spray tan. And by spray tan, I mean like my rub on fake tan that I put on last night. Ooh, look at me so strong. Take that mouthwash. So, oh, oh, I like it, look. There's like a cute bow. Oh, it's Oh my god! Oh, you know who would look cute on too? Not only you, but you. Gallop. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Come on, Gallop. He's like, this he is can't not, be tired. This is not funny. This is so cute on you, buddy. I like it. It feels very sturdy. And I like that it has like a silicone strip inside. You so know what? It actually makes me feel like wearing one. Because it's so fashionable. It's you. so cute. Well, I've, I've been wanting one because whenever I wash off my fake tan, like I only wash my hair every three to four days, but I shower. So I don't want to get my hair wet, but it's really hard when you're in a shower. So I'm actually so stoked about this. That's why I got it. Mm -hmm. Some people probably use these all the time. I've never used one. Yeah, I don't either. We're not a shower cap family. No. Oh, no, he's so cute. Aww. How do I look? Oh my god, you look like a little munchkey. You look like you did when you were a baby and had no hair. And they used to put hats on you. <laughs> See all the hair? Oh wait, just kidding. <laughs> Tuck all the hair up. Tuck all the hair up. There we go. There. Me too. It's, oh, I think it's adorable. You could I answer the door in that, couldn't you? With your dressing gown on and that. Eee. I feel like I'm from the 50s. <laughs> That's what you look like. Okay, I'm gonna go you know shower. You know what, you could actually wear that as a hat. No, Neve, you couldn't. <laughs> She's wrong, guys. Please don't wear this as a hat. Wear it as a shower cap. Okay, I'm gonna shower. You're not coming with me. I'll see you in a bit. Hopefully with dry hair. I love that thing. I've used it since I've tried it for the first time. It's so great when I want to shower, but I don't want to get my hair wet. Why have I never invested in a cute, stylish, high quality shower cap before? Don't ask me. Also, that brand sells these babies, which are specific hair towels. So I have two of them. I have this cute leopard print one, and then I have a polka dotted one. And these are the only hair towels I use. Why like do the full on head wrap when you can just do a cute, sleek one like this? Now these hair ties, I've seen all over the place. I have a lot of friends that use them and love them. I've actually purchased them and put them in giveaways when I've done giveaways in the past, but I've never actually used one. So I thought I'd give it a try. Well, I'm gonna use these ties, which have been around for a while now. And a lot of people swear by these, but I don't think you'd ever time in the past to really kind of try them out. I've never tried them. And I think it's just time that I understand the hype. So give me a second. Oh, I really like this brush. 
I know it's just a hairbrush, you guys. Your hair is getting more shiny, I think, unless I'm dreaming. Unless you're insane. Well, I am, but... Which is highly, you know... Probable. Highly like. <laughs> but I do really like it. Mm, here we go. Okay, let's give this a go. This seems so weird. God, I feel like it's gonna, like, make my hair tangly. I don't understand. Oh, let's see. The hair is coming through the little yeah. coils. Yeah. Is that the intention, maybe? I don't know. That's what I've never understood about these. I don't understand these. Keep going. Keep going, mommy. That looks cute. All right, we're leaving it like this. So honestly, after giving it a try, I have used it a couple of times and I just don't really see the appeal for me personally. I don't understand like what's supposed to be so much better about these than regular hair elastics or scrunchies. You guys know I'm a scrunchie kind of girl. I love scrunchies because you can like color coordinate the outfit. Whatever. I know these come in a lot of different colors too, but I just, I don't get it. It reminds me of the shoelaces I used to put in my shoes in the late 90s. Just me? Anybody else remember those curly laces? Do you remember those? Yes, absolutely. I had neon pink ones in my Doc Martens. So cute. <laughs> so yeah, I comment below what the purpose of these is, like what you like about them, why you use them over regular hair elastics or scrunchies. Inquiring minds want to know, what do you think of these? Future Molly with an update on this elastic thingy that I put in my hair. So on a regular basis, like day to day, I'm still gonna wear my scrunchies or just a regular hair elastic. But what I have realized this is good for is like no slip and when I'm doing cardio like on a treadmill or like a dance cardio class or something like that when I'm working out my hair often slips so I think these are gonna be the perfect solution for like not slipping out when I'm doing a workout next I tried out a product mom can you just read what it's infused with because I'm not gonna be able to remember that it's infused with citrine energy, ruby, empower, and quartz balance. Look, I'm super into crystals. We've got a lot of crystals in this household. We've been collecting crystals since way before crystals became a trendy thing to have. We've had crystals and been collecting crystals for 10 years now. At least. Yes, at least since I was 16. Yeah. So I'm into that stuff, all right? Call me crazy, call me weird. I'm into the crystal stuff. But this product, I was more excited by just the application of it than the crystals energy that was infused into it. I thought it would be really good for spot targeting. What's that word? Exfoliation. <laughs> spot targeting, exfoliating your skin when you're trying to get self tanner off to reapply the next time. I thought it was a great thing to bring for travel because you can just bring like one separate pouch instead of a whole thing of exfoliant. But uh, yeah, this is how it went. I wet my face and I just started to scrub. It's confusing because it doesn't have instructions. Well, they're visual. Well, they're, you know, they're not like, there isn't a, a wording on them. So my mom's not quite sure what I'm to do. I mean, there's it's, it's flaky, yeah. yeah. It's, it's got all sorts of little bits on it. Yeah. Hmm. It's very interesting. It's interesting because if you see this thing. Oh, yeah. In the picture it shows, but then part of that, if you like peel it, it kind of just... Yeah, I wonder what they have online. I think you just go back to washing it off yourself. Yeah, you do, but I just don't know which side you're supposed to use of it. So that's pink there, that side there. Okay, so you're supposed to scrub it that side. Ah, this is confusing. I don't know about this one. This one might be- Not your fave. Not my fave. Had a bit of a struggle with this guy. Yeah, I just feel like this company maybe needs to put more instructions in writing versus just images, because it was just really hard to figure out how to use, what way to use it. If you've ever used these products, let me know how I'm supposed to use it because I just don't think I used it correctly and therefore it kind of failed me but I really want to make that product work because if I can that's a good product but if not it's kind of a fail so that one remains to be seen Next, I tried deodorant wipes. Now this brand makes a lot of different things in wipe form so the first one I decided to check out is the deodorant wipes. Mm. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really opposed to being stinky, so I'm big into deodorant. My mom's not, but I am. <laughs> I usually Share use- Share my secret, Molly. I usually use a natural deodorant, and I picked up these babies, deodorant wipes. And I feel like with natural deodorant, sometimes it doesn't last all day like a traditional deodorant would. And if I'm at like a big meeting or a red carpet event, or if you're going to like a festival or a late night dance party, you might want to freshen up. And this is something you can just toss in your purse. So. It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Like it really is. That it's a is great idea. Great idea. So this is the last thing I'm going to do before I'm going to go get ready for the day. So I'm going to leave you guys after this. Unfold it. Let's give her a sniff. Hmm. Doesn't really smell like anything. Interesting. Okay. 
Wiping my pits on camera, nothing to see here. Air them out, curl them out. I'll keep you updated. I'll let you know if I stink later. Mm, I'll let you know. I'll let you know, Miss No Deodorant. That was the only deodorant I used all day. And honestly, I was stank free. Like it really worked. So big fan of that. I'm not gonna use it on a daily basis just because I feel like a stick form for a daily basis is good. But going to a party, nightclub, festival, travel day, you best believe one of those little sachet things with the wipe inside is gonna be in my purse, in my backpack, in my wallet, in my pocket. Definitely a win. And then I decided to try the nail polish removing wipes. Given the times, I only have like a clear coat on my nails, but nonetheless, I remove it and redo it every couple days. So I'm gonna try these nail polish removing wipes because these would be like a godsend for travel, right, Mom? Yeah. Who wants to travel with a whole thing of nail polish That's remover? So perfect. You just pop it in your bag. You can just take one or two out. Certainly smells like nail polish remover. It's nice and thick. Ooh. Yeah. Again, big fan. I feel like this brand like has us girls who travel a lot in mind. Love these products for travel. And one of the products that I picked up but I didn't try in this video is their stain remover. Honestly, I didn't want to like stain a nice white shirt just to see if it works. But I picked them up again for a blind girl. Like best friend, love that. Love anything that claims to be stain removing and is something I can throw in my purse. So in my new travel bag, I will be having the deodorant wipes, the nail polish wipes, and the stain removing wipes in my handbag I'm gonna have them like I feel like these are just things that are perfect for on the go big fan next this is probably the most unusual and unique product I decided to try in this video and I was very intrigued and very excited to get my hands on this product it is I think it was like 14 or 15 dollars and it's this like I mean you'll see it right here in this b-roll clip that I took it's shaving on the go so you get this little wheel and you take the top off and there's a refillable spray bottle for water there is two different three blade razors and then there's a moisturizing shea butter bar So essentially it's everything you need to touch up while shaving on the go So in my trying I tried it on my leg But I feel like in general it's something more so you would use for touching up like your underarms your bikini line Maybe if you like missed a spot around your ankle or your knee I wouldn't necessarily probably use it for a full leg shave or like a full bikini But I feel like it's a really interesting concept I think I've ne I've never seen anything like it and this is me trying it out aside from the obvious like travel win that you get with this product I also feel like if just randomly you've like put your bikini on and you're about to run out to your pool and you realize you like have a stray or something. I feel like just quickly, like not having to get into your shower to just grab this from your vanity and you're oh. done and you can run out to the pool again. By the way, Gallo made a mess of your bed. Do you know that? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Thanks, Gallop. And after you've, you know, used this to lather it up, you shave it, and then you just rub it into your skin to moisturize after. So it's really all in one. Brilliant. Fantastic. I have filled my little water. So I'm gonna just, I don't, I, my legs aren't super hairy right now, but it's enough. So they said the wetter the better. And then I'm gonna rotate to my lotion. So then you're supposed to kind of lather yourself up. This is so cool. I'm so into this idea. It's so cute. And then you take your razor. It's like a little game, like when you want to do it. Wow, I'm so. This is the winner? This is so. I'm so really liking cool. that. Do you see that? Maybe I would shave my legs if I had a little unit like that. <laughs> I don't know if anything could make you shave your legs, Miss Irish. Well, yeah. That looks wow, so wow. Nice. Oh, wow. It's I like am, a whole game. I am sold. This is so fun. I love this. I'm in love with this. I know, it's 15 bucks and this is a massive winner. I love this. I think I will definitely repurchase this when I'm done. Big thumbs up, big thumbs up. All right, I feel like, again, this is something I'm going to pack in like an overnight bag or a weekend away bag because I usually don't bring a razor with me when I go away for just a few days. I'll shave beforehand and then just shave when I get home. But I feel like this is something I'll just toss in a travel bag in case I ever do feel the need to do a quick touch up on the go 
I think it's a super interesting product. It might work better for some than others, but I think it's a really unique concept and I think it's fun. Given I was testing out something for shaving on the go, I figured I would also test out this really interesting mother. Did you just get an email or was that me? That is you. Oh my, my God, friend. I'm so popular. Okay, so I decided to try out this cream that claims to be a stubble softener. So when you have stubble on your legs, you can apply it. Uh, you can apply, apply it pre-shave to soften it before you shave. You can apply it post-shaving and it's not going to irritate the skin. It's called Smooth Operator. It smells really good and I just thought the concept was really interesting because I always put moisturizer on after I shave, but depending on which moisturizer I use, it can sometimes irritate my skin or sting a little bit or just, I don't know, like I get itchy sometimes from it on those fresh shaven legs. So given this is specially designed for either pre or post shave, I really wanted to give it a try. All right, smooth operator. Mm. What does it smell like? It smells almost like apples. Let me see. Oh, that's so, lo I love apples. Does this smell like an apple? It does. Nice consistency. Ooh, this would spread your on your legs really easily. Wow, well, these are just fantastic, aren't they? Winners. Oh, winners, it's winners. so like smooth. Mm -hmm. Now I have like smell. half a hairy leg, half a clean leg. But this, do you know what? This is, you don't need a little and it'll go full leg. Wow. That's good quality. Yeah. And it's not like stinging or anything. Ooh. Ooh. I like it. The product smells really good, it applies really smoothly, and I'm super into this. I didn't try it obviously pre-shave, I tried it post-shave, so I can't tell you if it really softens the stubble, but I think the concept's interesting. And they also make this product, the same company makes this product called Spot Me, which is a spot treatment that I thought was interesting because it's not just for acne blemishes, it's for ingrown hairs. And that's specifically why I wanted to try it. I'll admit I don't currently have any ingrown hairs, so I couldn't test it out for you guys. I was just intrigued to pick it up and check it out because I am somebody who definitely gets a lot of ingrown hairs specifically on my bikini line when I shave or even if I get it waxed. Like if, even if I get a Brazilian, I tend to get just a lot of ingrown hairs. So if there's something I can find that's clear, has a lot of essential oils and it goes on smoothly and can help with those ingrown hairs, I'm into it. Also, their products are cruelty free and paraben free. The next thing I saw I found really interesting it's by a company I'd never heard of called Skin Owl, and it's like a skin beauty steamer treatment. So basically, you're supposed to use the cute little wooden spoon it comes with and put two scoops into a bowl of hot water, let it kind of marinate, disperse, I don't know what the word is, and then you kind of put your face into the bowl, steam your face for five minutes, and you, you cleanse ahead of time, by the way. Remove your makeup, cleanse your skin, all that jazz. Then you steam, and then afterwards you follow up with like your favorite beauty oil or whatever kind of moisturizer you want, and it's supposed to de detox and clear out the pores, really open them, get all the dirt and grime out. I think it's really good for a place like Los Angeles or New York or something like that where there's gonna be, you know, you're living in a big city, there's more chemicals and toxins in the air around us, more pollution for our skin to take in. So it's a good treatment to do on a weekly basis. I thought I'd give it a try. I've only ever done like face steaming when I have a cold, like when I'm really congested. I've done it in the past and it's helped clear my lungs, clear my snout. And so I thought, why not do it to clear my skin? Okay, time to steam my face. All right, I have a boiling kettle. Mom, I'm scared. I'm scared Mommy, too. Mommy, I'm scared. Yeah. Stand Careful back. Now. Yeah. Don't tip the bowl, Molly, if you hit the I'm bowl. I'm not tipping the bowl. <laughs> Hold the kettle. No, no, you're not gonna do this. Okay. Hold on a sec, let me do this. <laughs> don't eat the bowl. Don't eat, don't, don't, don't make it don't over. Don't go there we go. Okay. That was my idea to actually pour the boiling water into Oh god, I'm scared. Okay. So keep it in, keep it in. <laughs> okay. Oh, it smells good. Okay. I feel like this is a great spa night gift for somebody. Okay. Three of those. Three? Yep. Yeah. I thought it was two. Let's do three heaping spoons. Let's do two. Heaping spoons. This would be fun to do with a girlfriend. Right? Like yeah. a spa night. Yeah. With the lip the mask. The lips, yeah. It smells like um chamomile tea. Ah, that makes sense. Relaxing. Stir it. So let it sit for a couple minutes. Just to let it marinate. Marinate. Okay. Thanks. You can see all the flowers floating around on me. Curves. Or whatever. Flowers on me. Pretty. Oh, I'm ready to steam, I think. Ooh, this suits you. Scented. All right, folks, I'm going to steam myself for five minutes, so uh, I'll be back. Don't mind me. Just doing what I'm told. This reminds me of being sick as a kid. Yeah, we used to do that sometimes. 
especially coughs and things. Which Lord knows I had a lot of. Yeah, I'm scared of you underneath that. <laughs> I honestly am. I like it. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, look, it's your face. <gasps> Wow, you looked like you were just a sauna. I feel like I was just at a spa. I'm not even kidding. That was so relaxing. Oh, you're just having great fun with all this stuff. I could have done that all day. You have to do that. I will. Oh my god, my skin. Oh, that was just... Heaven? Heaven, it really was. Hashtag blessed. So it says after to finish with some beauty drops. So I have these lavender ones that I also got at Aerie. Try them out. My mom's been using them every night. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Loves them. Absolutely beautiful. Ooh. Oh. See what I mean? Oh, man. I should have. Are they have... gorgeous? You should have. I, why did I give them to you? Because you're nice. Oh, look at my face. And now you can massage your face. With which my is roller. really, really good for your face. Yeah, with your roller. Too much grab the roller. This is a delight. I should have kept these. Why was I so nice? Yeah. These are so nice. All these products are beautiful, aren't they? Oh my god. I especially love rolling my yeah. TMJ. Very, 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 very good. And the neck. Yeah. Apparently that helps with your breathing, isn't it? The side of the neck. Whatever you say, Eve. This is early in the afternoon. I think you're going to be going to bed. Honestly, I, I feel or like I am. Nap. Oh. Sit outside in your chair and just relax. This is delicious. Self-care isn't selfish. Remember that. Does it work? Does it not? I don't know. It's one of those kind of luxurious experiences. It's something that's fun to do. It's self-care. And I think at the end of the day, like for me, self-care honestly doesn't even have to like be effective. It just has to be time that I spend with myself doing something that makes me feel good. So is it like a life-changing experience? I don't know, but not really. But the thing is, I think a lot of beauty products and lifestyle products are kind of gimmicky. They're kind of just fun fun, things that we do to spend time with ourselves, to treat ourselves, to feel good. And if it's something that makes you feel good, girl, you do it. The final thing I decided to try out in this video is a lip mask. And I don't just mean like a moisturizing lip balm that's a lip mask. I mean a literal like sheet mask for your lips, which I thought was really interesting. You guys know I'm not really a massive sheet mask fan. It's just not my thing. I prefer to mask with like a clay mask or something like that, not a sheet. But I was intrigued to try try a sheet mask for your lips. It was something a little bit different. I had never personally heard of it, so I gave it a go. Time to make my lips kissable for no one but me. I'm so intrigued. Ooh, it's goopy. Goopy, goopy. Okay, see it? Oh, it's in the shape of a lip. Yeah, it's a, literally so a sheet cute. mask for your lips. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's adorable. This is so fun. They're such fun little unique pieces. Very entertaining. It has this kind of purpley glow to it. Mm. Oh, it's so cute. It has a, what's that called, a holographic effect? Yeah, oh, you can't talk. <laughs> How long do you keep it on for? Five minutes? Oh, oh Molly, this is so hard for you not to be able to talk. I'm just having a great time watching this, guys. This is funny. <laughs> Molly not been able to talk. Oh. What do you want for dinner tonight? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Did you want gallop? <laughs> Music? <laughs> Hello Molly, it's mom. <laughs> Isn't that bad? Why? You can't talk. <sighs> wow, have I I've just never appreciated talking so much. How do they feel? Mm, they feel very moisturized. Good. Yeah, this is cool. I'm into this way more than a typical sheet mask. Also, it made me feel like I have really small lips. <laughs> This, is, yeah, it's, it's, this yeah. is definitely accommodating of all lip sizes. I'm into this though. This is so fun. And it was really comfortable. Like it stayed on easily without problems. I could move around, look around, move my lips a little, and it didn't fall off at all. So this is cool. And holographic is the word you were looking for, Neve. Ah. It's a holographic lip mask. So cool. Nice. You're having fun with these, aren't you? Yeah. 
All right, again, I just think this is a bit of fun. It's hydrating, it's plumping. I think it would be really good in a cold climate if you had super chapped lips. I feel like that would be fun. I think it's just another fun thing to like throw a movie on with your girlfriends and put your lip masks on and like have a bit of fun. I think it's an interesting idea. And honestly, I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun, it was cute, and I would totally buy it for a girlfriend for a self-care package or a gift bag. I would definitely put it as a stocking stuffer in a stocking if I had somebody to stock a stuffing for stuff a stocking <laughs> whatever <laughs> you get the point this is just a little small taste of the self-care items lifestyle products that airy sells on their website and in stores they have so many other fun things a lot of their products i really enjoy because they focus on selling things that are you know locally sourced or eco-friendly cruelty free a lot of like crystals and interesting kind of like out there fun unique stuff so i think it's just one of those places where you know you can go to a regular spot and get like typical gift or body lotions or skincare products or hair care products or you can go to them and find quirky unique a little bit more out there products and that's a bit of me that's who I am that's what I enjoy so I had a lot of fun check all of these products out are gonna be linked below I hope you had fun watching me try out these products I had a lot of fun just like taking care of Molly for a day you know I think we all need to do a little bit more of that especially with the way life is right now I think a really fun thing to do that can fill your heart is to put together a care package for a friend or somebody who's feeling extra stressed out in these times and if not just treat yourself and do it for you all right I love you guys click this video up here if you want to see me do my own nails and click this video up here if you want to see me do my own hair I'll see you next time bye